So this section is going to be about curve 25519. First I want to introduce what this curve is because a lot of you probably already heard the name but didn't exactly know what they were looking at. So curve 25519 was published by Daniel Bernstein, which is a quite famous cryptographer, one of the biggest cryptographers of our time I would say, and it created new speed records for Diffie-Hellman. And the key features of Curve 25519 are that it's really fast, it has very small public keys due to point compression, and it runs in constant time, so there are no, there's no branching done dependent on secret information, which was a problem with double and add if you remember. So Curve 25519 became quite popular very fast, so nowadays it's used in TLS 1.3, in SSH, WireGuard, Tor, and Apple actually uses it in most of their iOS crypto applications. So it's quite popular. Well, I mentioned the advantages it has, but what people really drove to Curve 25519 was that the Snowden leaks revealed that the NSA is backdooring its own crypto standards. And influential people like Bruce Schneier wrote that he no longer trusts the constants delivered by the NSA because he believes the NSA has manipulated them through their relationship with industry. So people started to fear backdoors in elliptic curve standards, feared that those elliptic curves, for example the NIST curves, um, have some properties that they don't know about, which makes it possible for the NSA to crack them, which led to more and more people adopting curve 25519, apart from the fact that it's just very fast and very nice to implement.